everybody, it's Makeup Junkie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a pumpkin. Um, something pretty simple, just kind of like normal makeup. But then you just add a few little touches here and there. I promise I will do something cute. Probably the next one. I promise I'm not just, you know, all blood and gore, but yeah, I kind of am. But alright, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, I will be doing a voiceover because if I try to talk to you, it'll take way too long. You guys know the drill. Um, if you do want to see this pumpkin look, just keep on watching. Alright, I'm going to be starting off with some foundation. This particular foundation is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put that all over my face, neck, and I don't think I didn't really put any on my chest area, you know. I just do it, did it, did it on my face and my neck. I'm going to be blending it out with my little beauty blender from Morphe. And I'm doing my eyebrows just like I would normally do my eyebrows I just didn't like highlight my brow bone or anything like that but I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and the pencil I'm using is a I think it's either a Sigma or a Sedona lace brush I'm not 100% sure but it's one of those it's just like an angled brush and I'm just going to kind of like buff not buff out but like I just blur it out a little more so my eyebrows look more natural in the beginning and I am listening to Destiny's Child right now so you will see random little clips of me just like kind of singing my tail off. eyeshadow primer and a wet wild brush I'm just putting that on my lid and I'm going to set it with some translucent powder so my eyeshadow doesn't like stick to one place you know it's a little easier to blend out and I am using the Morphe palette I will insert a clip of exactly what eyeshadow I am using and I want to say this is the Morphe 35O yeah And then I'm just kind of like blending out the outer corners of my eye and just buffing it out pretty far. I do take it up a little bit higher. And this one I am using the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and I'm using the orange color in there. I don't know what the name of the eyeshadow is, but I will insert a clip of, you know, all the good stuff, the shadows and things like that in here. adding some black shadow that I am using. I think this black shadow is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm using that on the outer corner. I'm just kind of layering it, layering it on top of that orange. And I'm going to be taking that same black color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be putting it on the inner corner of my eye and dragging it upwards and buffing it out more. I want it like more of like a blown out smoky kind of look. I want my eyes to look really really dark for this. Now I'm taking some more orange from that Morphe 35O palette and I'm just putting that on my lid and I'm going to be using um, this pigment, this loose pigment by Sugar Pill and it's in Penelope. I love this color. Like I don't use it enough but I absolutely love it so when this opportunity came up to use it, I snagged it. I had to. I did spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus so that the pigment would stay a little bit more. And right here, I'm just adding a little more black, you know, to darken it up some more. Throwing on some good old Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner, and I gotta put in that wing. 
make it sharp for you. Now here I'm going to be going underneath my eye and I'm going to like smoke out. Like I said, I want my eyes to be really dark and I want it to look like I kind of like, like my eyeshadow bled. So I'm just dragging some black eyeliner and stuff and pulling it downwards and I'm going to blend it out. Now time for the mouth. I'm just doing like a normal, I guess, pumpkin mouth. I didn't want to do anything like super creepy. It's just a normal, you know, carved pumpkin kind of mouth. Once I have it all sketched out, I'm just going to go back in with that same black. This is the, it's the grease paint that I used um, in a few of my other videos. It's some grease paint that I got from Spirit Halloween. And I'm just going to fill in the mouth just black. And I do want all these corners to be really sharp so that's why I'm going in with a more precise brush because I do want them to be like pretty sharp and like clean cut. And once the black is all you know painted in I went over with some translucent powder to mattify it a little more and I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow because it did leave like a white cast over so I'm gonna go back in with the black eyeshadow and you know um, darken it up just a little bit more. did pop on some eyelashes and pop in my contacts now I'm just taking an eyeliner and blackening like darkening my waterline and I'm adding some highlight this is the Maybelline master chrome highlight and going in now I wanted to darken up my hairline and give it more of like a decaying look so I added some black around my hairline I guess you could say like I kind of contoured my face with a little black eyeshadow and I'm just blending that out I did end up um, putting some black eyeshadow on my collarbone as well and some more black on my fingers to just you know complete this look but that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one